Hey guys, it's Jalisa checking in with Sheen Magazine. I'm in the ATL for an exclusive with the Jacob Lattimore. And we're talking about like new that. new film, <laughs> Like a Ball. The Jacob Lattimore. I've been getting that a lot. <laughs> the Jacob Lattimore. What, what am I turning into? Oh, hey, you're doing a lot at a young age. You know, not only are you in music, but you're doing film. So, you know, tell me about the experience really filming on camera as a love interest with Tiffany Haddish. It was cool. It was fun. Um, I just, you know... Just being my goofy self uh, yeah, that, that, that that I fall into sometimes. Um, like you know, it, it depends on what mood I'm in. You yeah. know, so I was I was that way for the audition, and like you know, it was a, a fun way for me to really just kind of express myself and yeah. be funny and like be just like flying off the handle with anything, like smacking her butt with a spatula. <laughs> No, Tiffany seems like she's down for anything because she pushes the limits, and those scenes were really, really crazy. Yeah, was. What were some of the craziest moments you had while filming with Tiffany? I think, I think, honestly, just everything. You know what I mean? She just, she always saying something crazy. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> always, always. So, uh, I, I film all of my scenes in four days uh, while I was filming season two of the shot. So I was wow. able to go from Chicago here back to Atlanta to film those scenes, and I was begging the showrunners like please 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 let me do this because i would love to just be in the scene with her you know what i mean so um you know and they allowed me to do that push some things around for me and uh you know it worked out that's dope so you're doing a lot so tell me what's the biggest difference between filming on the shy and filming on a major film um, I think uh, filming is a little more spread out. So, like, I may work two or three days out the week, and then I may have the rest of the week just off to chill and, like, explore the city. Mm-hmm. Film, um, depending on what, you know, what position you are in that film, if you're, like, the lead, like Tiffany is, mm-hmm. like, you're working every day. You know what wow. I mean? There's no days off, pretty much. Oh. Okay. And the film is, you know, going into a relationship with two best friends running their own business or empire together. Quite bossy women, to say the least. Are you into women that are bossy? Absolutely. I'm, I'm dating one right now. Soraya, what up? Yeah, yeah. Soraya, so what is it like, you know, being in a public relationship with someone who's also in the same industry as you? Um, It's different. You know, I've never dated in the industry. I've always kind of just, you know, you never really knew I was dating. But, you know, mm-hmm. um, it's cool, though. It's cool, though. You know, it's actually a lot easier dating somebody in your field. Yeah, because they understand the struggles. Understand the struggle, <laughs> the schedule, the the. It, I mean, the hard part, you know, just us being busy. You yeah. know what I mean? She, her doing, you know, she working on her stuff, and then I'm working on mine. And uh, you know, but it all works out though. We're able to travel and see each other whenever we can. So, um, the time apart is 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 it's beneficial. You know, it, even though it hurts a little bit. Yeah. Beneficial way any relationship, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, with you guys both being actors and both being into music, you know, can we predict any future like collaborations? Because I know that chemistry is already there. Oh, we had we, we had put out a record called Caught Up. We shot a video for it. It's out right now, but we definitely gonna recre- create some more stuff. Awesome, awesome. Mm-hmm. And what do you want the audience to really take away from the film and the overall message? I think um, just. Know where you want to go, and really, um, and and don't let anybody control uh, the 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 direction of your your dreams. You know what I mean. Yeah. You know that they is is they kind of started off on this way of like knowing where they wanted to go, and then they ran into this this lady who wanted to try to change their branding. You know, your your brand is everything. So know what your brand is, and know how you want to be perceived. And uh, you know, I think that's ultimately uh, what I got from the story. And being that Jacob Lattimore is a brand himself, you know, with your journey, being that you're a young man in this industry, have you ever met anyone or been in a situation where, you know, you have this vision and someone else or another third party is coming in and kind of trying to add to what you want to do, but they're changing the direction you have to put your foot down? Absolutely. I, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm open to new ideas and new and new things because I, ultimately, you know, you want to reinvent yourself and create, create who you are and, and, and continuously to push forward but uh, I, I obviously definitely have been in those situations I was signed to a label for five six years we were putting our records out of I wasn't necessarily ready for I didn't feel like my career was ready for and um, you know uh, looking back on some of those songs now if they came out today I feel like they would be a lot more successful so um, it's just you know you go through that trial and error especially with music you know what yeah. I mean um, and I think that's why it's so important to be independent and, and, and uh, take that time out to find who you are. You know what I mean? You had a, a really dope track that I, th- I was a huge fan of. I think with Baja Rodriguez, Beja. Oh, Beja. Beja, Beja. 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 I said her name wrong. Beja, Beja Rodriguez. Uh, Baja. 
you know what? I should know how to pronounce her name better than that. But anyways, that was that's my track. I really love that. So can we expect any new music on that type of R and B vibe? Absolutely. I mean, um, my last Connection album was was definitely rocking. I, uh, I got a new song out right now with uh, Miss Mulatto uh, called "Don't Want to Leave." Dang. That's out right now. Go stream that up. Go go, go crazy with that. The uh, video is over a half a million views right now. Um, and then I'm dropping a new record next week called uh, Details featuring Cowboy. So I'm, I'm super, super excited about that. I'm going to drop the visual with it as well. I think it's my best visual yet, to be honest. Like, it really showcased me as a performer, as an entertainer, like, the way I've always wanted to be shown. And I, I'm, I'm way more hands-on with uh, the way we're capturing these music videos. Like, if the camera ain't sweeping low, like, give, make, me a, make me a star. Like, you know what I mean? I like Bruno Mars, that, that, that look, that look. So um, I'm definitely... Uh, you know, uh, really, really aggressive about that on, on on set. Sometimes I'm, I may get to cussing and, and, and get mad because nobody doing it the way I wanted to do it. You know, you got to be kind of, it got to be kind of mean in that way sometimes. You know, because everybody is too many too many hands in the pot. Hey. Like, get out. Hello. Sometimes it happens like that. Hello. <laughs> but thank you so much. It was a great interview. Uh, she Magazine checking out with Jacob Lattimore. Make sure you guys check out the film Like a Boss in theaters tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Jaleesa checking in. Back to you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. I'm gonna do my, my camera first and then my uh-huh. uh, and on your phone. Like a boss, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>